in this portion of the lab too we are gonna prepare the circuit again by making the parameter of the, like the tolerance make, we make the parameter as a global and then we are gonna do the advanced analysis so first of all as we, we made our own model parameters in the lab 1 we gonna re up on it scroll down as I'm doing go in the my fast code So that was the file we made in the lab one. We changed the model parameter for the Q1, Q2 and D1. We added the positive tolerance, negative tolerance and the flat distribution to the three components. Scroll down in the special function. So, in order to start the sensitive analysis, we have to use the some local uh, tolerance properties on we should make it global like 10 percent uh, tolerance uh, would make global distribution flat global so these are the all the variables which we're gonna modify we make it 10 These are all the local tolerances we are changing for the particular components like if it's a C2, select C2, change it to C12% negative, negative tolerance as a 20%. Display. So C tall equals to 20% will be display. Negative tolerance also 20% C tall. So C tall is uh, like capacitance tolerance. Select a display.
so this makes the negative tolerance positive down 20 percent in this play for the c2 this is capacitance in the series with the resistance forming the rc circuit to the input now note that, that if you specify for the positive tolerance and not for the negative tolerance then the value of the negative tolerance will be automatically be set to the same as the positive tolerance if you specify value for only negative tolerance then parameter will be ignored for sensitivity and multi Gardner analysis it is strongly recommended that you should define both tolerances positive and negative now focus on the positive tolerance of each and every component like R4 run the simulation name the simulation make it a DC sweep DC sweep with the primary sweep will be of voltage to those V3 V3 is the amplitude of one frequency 5 as a sign source no value list so not linear but place your cursor at value list make value list as a zero so we start from zero apply so again go in the piece points I did the new simulation this will be the AC sweep so first is the DC sweep for the DC component, second is the AC sweep. So select the AC sweep in the analysis with the noise. We're gonna go up on general settings, logarithmic scale. Starting frequency is the 1 megahertz. And the uh, ending frequency is the 600 megahertz. Point per decade is 100. Now select the norm. We have to do add this library and add to the design add a trace as a VDB output so this is 1 megahertz to 1 gigahertz this is V out but we want in the DV scale So this is V output. Now run the simulation. Select on the view the measurements. Select on the performance and uh, no. Evaluate the measurement option. Go to the cutoff low of 3 dB. V output. Print in V output. So the cutoff will set at 3 dB. The value is coming to 12.4 megahertz. 212.4 megahertz.
going the maximum we want option if we're coming like near by 19 maximum VDV is called like 19 hertz check on in in the DC analysis we want the power dissipation so we're gonna looking for the WQ1 WQ1 is power uh, dissipated from the Q1 that right, is coming at 2.179 and another value is the current through the Q1 so it will be the IQ1 this will measurement of the collector current